Hello. So um, my name is Brian Lyles, and I'm here talking about a diary of a mad hacker. So let's start off with, um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. When I was a little kid, um, <laughs> I wrote, and this leads in, I wrote in my diary, dear diary, one day I want to be rich or I want to be awesome. And today, <laughs> I'm just awesome. So let me talk a little bit about, um, about where we are right now. Um, this talk is really um, an expression from me to you about all the fuck-ups I've done in the past almost 35 years. So um, hopefully um, somebody give me a bag of tissues and we'll get started. So let's start about this. Uh, my father told me I needed to have an itch. I was lazy, I didn't have an itch, so he bought me a computer. And what did I do with my computer? Nothing at first. I took it apart and I put it back together and I said, I don't know what to do. And the reason I did this is because I had too much time. I was a, I was a part of the G.I. Joe and Transformer generation. So I watched a lot of G.I. Joes and I watched a lot of Transformers. And unfortunately, it didn't get me very far. I wasn't on the right path at all. So what my father told me to do was pick an enemy. And I said, you know what? You know what the enemy is? The enemy is stupid people. I'm not going to be one of those people. <laughs> so I had to pick it up, and I had to figure out how in the hell am I going to take out all these stupid people? <laughs> but here's a very important lesson. There's a statute of limitations, and I know about Maryland because this is where I grew up. You can do all the hacking. You can do a couple bad things. Don't kill anyone. This Match of limitations never expires on that. But a lot of things like hacking into ISPs and, and getting free internet so you can actually figure out what you want to do when you go to college is okay. <laughs> so um, my last, next lesson to you is go to college. I went to college for two years and I learned um, a couple of things. It's expensive and if you don't graduate, <laughs> you don't get a degree. Um, so after I um, dropped out of college, I basically started working for free for this ISP. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go in there and show how awesome I am, and I'm going to work for cheap, and they're going to love me. Guess what happened? I didn't make any money. <laughs> um, so here's something that I'm going to tell you guys. Everyone in here, you guys are web developers. Learn Unix. Even if you're on Windows, learn Unix. There's lessons out there that you can get from Unix. And after you learn Unix, learn to hate Unix. Because um, you don't really ever learn anything until you do it in anger. Everybody here has heard that expression, I'm doing this in anger, I'm doing that in anger. Guess what? I do Unix in anger. Look at my laptop. So the next thing I want to do is um, learn networking. And this is not networking in the people sense. You know what? You can, you're going to meet a lot of people in your lifetime. I'm talking about learn the networking stack. Go out and figure out how that shit works. And the reason why is um, this next slide. Because someone's going to throw up something silly like this to you one day. They're going to be like, what's this? And I've been doing this all afternoon to people. What is this thing? It's an OSI stack. Guess what? It's kind of important, but not really. It has not made me any money in the past 20 years. <laughs> OK. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of stupid people. This is a life lesson that I wish I knew when I was 14. There are so many stupid people out there, and they will do what you ask with a little bit of prodding. The next lesson is um, try to change the world through code. Um, I'm just saying that this is like a pie in the sky thing. Um, I don't like to do a lot of open source, but I do a lot of things to make a lot of people a lot more money than they're giving me. So, you know, do it, but um, be smart about it. Um, and then here's some lessons. The first lesson before this is um, learn to count, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, the first real lesson is you don't know. There's a lot of things you don't know, but the point is if you do know that you don't know, you'll be a lot, you'll be a lot more eager and a lot more easier for you to learn stuff. Um, number two is only do what works for you. People will be like, well, you need to use this awesome tool because it's awesome for me. Screw that. Use what works for you. And what the problem is is you have to actually figure out what works for you. If you're not, you're screwing yourself. Lesson three, share. This is the lesson for my kids. Um, my daughter was reading this, and she said, put share in there. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to share one thing with you guys today, and that's oxygen. I'm sorry. Um, lesson four, go out and meet somebody. Tonight we're going to do the post-ignition thing at, at Max's. Get there early. It's not that big. And um, so go out and meet somebody. I want to meet everybody in here. And I'll tell you what, I have met probably more than a third of this room. Shook your hand and asked your name. 
And the other lesson four, because I can't count, go on Twitter, and I used to do this a while ago, and say, what did I learn today? Um, before I got real busy with real life, I actually used to go on Twitter and bug people about how they were doing it wrong and what I learned today. You gotta do this. And lesson number five, you need to have an opinion. I have a great opinion. It's usually right more than wrong, <laughs> but at least I have one. I don't need anyone else to tell me that I'm right. And lesson six, 